fourth match of the night saw May Soraya teaming with Suzu Suzuki and Megan Bain as they took on Odeo Tai, Natsuko Tora, Momo Watanabe, and Ruwaka. Let me tell you, this is the second Odeo Tai match in a row that the Samurai has watched where they didn't go outside the ring. They didn't throw their opponents into chairs. They didn't spend an inordinate amount of time hitting them with baseball bats. This was a straight-up wrestling match. Now, look, I know Odeo Tai are heels, and they need to heal it up and act like heels, but I love them so much more when they straight-up wrestle like this, and this was great. I mean, they even thwarted Megan Bain for a while, taking her out with double and triple team moves, meaning Odeo Tai did. And I love Megan Bain going in there and just beating everyone's ass. But here she had a tough time, still managed to do it, pinning Ruaka at the end. Speaking of Ruaka, she has looked amazing, both physically and in the ring. I think she has lost some weight, she's growing up, her face is thinned out, and her wrestling is better. I've really, really been liking Ruaka as of late. I really see some major improvements in her. Momo Watanabe, when she's not acting overly heelish, is one of the best wrestlers in the world, and watching her square off with Suzu Suzuki is amazing. Uh, everything about this match was wonderful. Everything was just teamed up perfectly amongst the, the two threesomes and worked really well. Of course, Bane, Suzuki, and Soraya won it, like I said. I think Odeo Tai could use some more wins, but let them continue to work solidly like this, and they will get there because this was good, and Odeo Tai looked better than I've seen them in some time, and I didn't have to sigh and shake my head at the overuse of outside ring work.